Hello Retro fans! This demonstration is about bootstrapping bare metal Apple II computers using a serial connection. The problem we're trying to solve here is bringing an Apple back to life when there's no software available to you on physical floppies. You want to take part in the retro computing scene but can't get disk images from the internet down to your Apple. No problem, armed with an appropriate serial connection, here's how. We'll start with an Apple IIe computer. We'll lift off the back here, and the first thing we'll do is we'll add an Apple Super Serial card to it. Now, a Super Serial card has a couple of banks of switches in the upper left hand corner. You can see them here and here. And you'll find the settings for them on the ADD Pro website. Here is a jumper block with an arrow on it. The arrow should point downwards if you have a straight through serial cable, or upwards if you're using a null modem cable. Now, plug the external connector in and put the card into slot 2 of the Apple. To connect the Apple and the host computer, we'll use a straight through serial cable with a 25 pin mail connector on this end, plugging that into the Apple's super serial card connector, and a 9 pin female connector on this end, plugging that into the serial port of the host computer. And now we're ready to power up the Apple. Immediately after powering up, we hit Control Reset on the Apple to get to the command prompt. And the first thing we do after starting ADD Pro on the host computer is to tell it to use the serial connection. Then we select Bootstrapping ProDOS, then Send ProDOS. Now we're told to enter a couple of commands on the Apple. The first one is in IN number 2 in return. And the second one is Control A, which brings up the SSE prompt. Then we type 14B and hit return. Now we're ready to hit OK on the dialog box. And you can see commands and data start streaming to the Apple. This is sending the kernel of ProDOS directly into the Apple's memory. Now we'll speed things up a little bit here and watch it finish up. And when it's done, we will have the ProDOS kernel or machine language interface running on the Apple. Next, we'll send a copy of the ADD Pro client down to the Apple. To do that, we click on Bootstrapping, ProDOS, Send ADD Pro Serial Client. And again, we're instructed to enter the commands just like we did before. IN number 2, return, and Control A, 1, 4, B, and hit return. And now we're ready to click OK on the dialog box back at the host. And now you can see the code and data for the ADD Pro client streaming down to the Apple and it's sending it directly into memory. Now we'll speed this up again and watch it finish. And when it's done, it will automatically start the ADD Pro client. And now that the client is running on the Apple, we want to make a permanent copy of it. So the first order of business is to format a blank floppy in our drive. We hit the F key to format, and we get a list of devices that are currently online. We'll scroll down to slot 6, drive 1, which is the default 5 and a quarter inch floppy, and hit return to format it. Now we're asked to name the disk, and the default of blank is fine, so we'll hit return. It asks us if we're ready, and Y for yes, and off the drive goes for a while to format the disk. When it's done, it'll ask us if we want to format another, and we'll hit N for no, and that will bring us back to the main menu. Now, we want to ask for a bootable image of ADD Pro to write on our freshly formatted floppy, so we hit R for receive, and then the name is something like addpro-v.r.m.dsk, depending on the version, and we hit return. It queries the host to make sure it exists, and it asks us where we want to write it. And on top of our blank floppy is fine, so we hit return there. And then the transfer happens. Now when this is done, we'll have a bootable floppy of the addpro distribution diskette in the drive and we can prove that by rebooting with that floppy disk still in the drive. So here goes the reboot and the Apple starts up and here comes ProDOS this is off the disk remember and the welcome program with the various forms of ADD Pro to start shows up. Now we're using serial so we'll just hit return on that and up will come the ADD Pro client again, this time from the disk we created. And now we can do this similar operation for any disk image we find on the internet. Thanks for watching and visit addpro.sourceforge.net
for lots more details.